Guys, we're back. What do you think about the Porsche NFTs? Porsche or Lamborghini? Wow. Very well. Oh, so there's no passenger? Wow. Drifting experience. Here we go. Dude, <laughs> this is wild. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back. This is chapter eight. Don't you forget. Chapter eight. I'm going to recenter myself. 9-11. We're in Atlanta, Georgia. We got 20 Porsche Pioneers here. They all own the Porsche NFT, just like me. So we're gonna meet some of them, we're gonna talk to them, and here we go. We got all pioneers. We got multiple small circles, a little bit different than Belgium, smaller crowd, you know. We got single conversations going on, quite fun. Welcome drinks are heavy, people are taking them on. And yeah, let's go, let's go talk to a few of them. I'm gonna come right here to Ed Edward, what's going on? Happy to be in Atlanta. Yeah. yeah, is this your first time doing a Porsche uh, NFT event? It is my first Porsche NFT event. Yes, sir. Do you own a Porsche? I have this. I have a 911 on order, and I am currently on a Taycan 4S, which is my fifth Porsche. This is your fifth Porsche. How many NFTs do you own? Just one. Just one. What and what's the road? It's a Heritage Road. Heritage Road. You're happy with your Porsche NFT? So far, so good. No so complaints. far, so good. And what do you think? What made you buy a Porsche NFT? Just a love for the brand. Hello, sir. How's it going? I'm, I'm good, thanks. And what was the name again? Christian. Christian? How are you doing? I'm good, yeah. Where are you flying from? Uh, from Frankfurt. So are you happy with the, being a Porsche NFT holder? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, seeing here the events and, and the community, I think it's really uh, worthwhile, yeah. Yeah, no, I completely agree. We got troublemaker Julian here. So, what? What do you know? Any inside information? Is there anything we should look out for? There's a lot of great things at the Porsche Experience Center here in Atlanta, which we definitely have some fun on the track there. But yeah, like we do a lot of, um, let's say, culinary experiences here as well. Hello, hello, hello. We got troublemakers in the building. We got Leone. Did I pronounce it right? You pronounce it right. How, how are things? Good. Do we own the Porsche yet? No, not yet, unfortunately. How is it going, Eileen? How are you? Really good. So how's it been? We're now en entering the end. I call it the end because really all we got left is a one day, maybe two day event. So what, how you feeling? What's it been like? Tell us some things you've learned. It's been some great months. I really enjoyed it and I think I'm as sad as you are that it ends now, at least for now. What do you think about the Porsche NFTs and did you have the Porsche before you got the NFT? I did have the Porsche before I got the NFT. I'm part of Porsche, so yeah. So you have to get it. Did you get the company discount at least? No. Embarrassing. <laughs> Thank you. I'll check in with you guys later. All right, we're gonna continue on. We're gonna continue on here. What's going on? How are you? Dude, when I first saw you, the first thing I wanted to ask, which I know is a typical question. How much do you bench? 325. I I was, I knew it was over 300. I'm like, dude, there's no way. Like this guy is definitely over 300. So what is that, like four plates? Mm, it's just three right now with uh, some fives on the other sides. Oh, okay, so. so you're definitely building up. I'm so trying, I'm trying to get there. It's, it's you like you are being fit? What is it I like about it? Yeah. Just the confidence about it. Like yeah. knowing that if I wanted to lift something up, I could. Yeah. Um, also just, once again, like with the confidence, like if you're in a low spot and you know, you want to, you know, just boost yourself up, yeah. you can take control of it and, and really- I will tell you, gym days feel better than no gym days. Dude, I love my gym days. So I have to ask, I have to ask, you are a Porsche NFT holder. How many Porsche NFTs do you own? Just one. Well, just one. Charlie, tell us, are you a Porsche NFT holder yourself? I am, yes. One, how many NFTs? Just one. Just one. See, that's all you need to play. And we have talked to a few of them that have four, five, six Porsche cars and four, five, six Porsche NFTs. So you don't need all that. More left to them, man. Yeah, but hey, let them celebrate all they want. You know, I tried that with Trump NFTs. I got, <laughs> you know, a couple Trump NFTs. It didn't pan out, buddy. One, one is good enough. <laughs> so, sir, I, I am now returning to you after five chapters. What is your favorite one so far? I mean, Spa is hard to beat. 
I was feeling the same way. I'm like, I watched the other videos. I'm like, dude, no one can beat Spa. Yeah. It was one of the best. Nicholas, I have one last question, which I've asked before. Porsche or Lamborghini? Yeah, I mean, what, what do you expect? It's Porsche. <laughs> okay, okay. I got to check back. I can't remember. They're having drinks. They're talking. They're mingling. This is exactly, we got Arthur. We got people. We got everyone here and literally having fun. This is the Porsche Pioneer Circle. All right, so we just made it to our food tour. That was our shuttle. Thanks. Well, welcome to Atlanta, you guys. Uh, and I want to welcome y'all officially to this amazing food tour. This is a food tour of the neighborhood of Inman Park. So yeah, we got our first uh, tasting. It's a cheddar apple turnover. It's like Jesus. Yeah. I can taste the cheddar. This is a full-fledged uh, fried green tomato. Slide it down. Where? Just keep sliding. <laughs> we just keep sliding. <laughs> just keep sliding. Just keep sliding. <laughs> I feel like this is Finding Nemo all over again. <laughs> Dude, it smells interesting. Looks different than I expected. Yeah. I actually thought I would see the green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is fried green, fried, fried, yeah. fried green tomato. Somewhere in here, there's a tomato that's green. <laughs> I'm going full, full bite, full mouth. I think I can fit it in. We're about to guess. Edible? Good, it's good. Fried green tomato is actually pretty good. He's still waiting for his. Yeah. They'll come. What do you think? It's good. All right, so we just got our samosa and pani puri. Looks good, street food. All right, so you take this. Put it in. Mm. Pour about maybe half a third of this cup's contact right into here. There we go. And then you're gonna pop it all into your mouth in one big bite. If it's not one big bite, it does explode everywhere, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're gonna try the samosa as well. What about the rest? Tastes good, not too spicy. We can sweat enough to swim, but that's a hyperhidrosis. <laughs> Yeah, I like it. You guys, you're going to crack open the shell and eat the nut on the inside. Please do not eat the shell. I had a lady from London when I was first getting started eat the shell. And then I had to make, uh, you know, this announcement. And literally last Saturday. All right, this is our mocktail. Our smoked wings that are flash fried at the end and boiled peanuts. Half a nut here. Oh, wow. That's good. All right, so I'm gonna try this wing with the barbecue that they did. Wow, very well, smoked very well. Barbecue's perfect, peanuts are good. They even give us this mocktail. Mm. Ginger beery, very good. Also, we're getting in front of something called Boga, which is a really nice gelato uh, more people learning about French fraud. I love it, I love it. So we'll start handing these uh, caramel brownies out as well, you guys. Thank you. Final thing, the dessert. We made it. It's all sugar. <laughs> it's literally fudge. It's so good. It's so good. Just in our food tour, everyone's back on the bus. We're about to go to the Porsche experience. It was a great tour. We tried like literally so much food. All right, we got out of the shuttle. We're walking to the Porsche building. Bunch of us taking pictures and whatnot. I already see Porsches lined up. All right, we're in the Porsche Experience Center. We got a bunch of Porsches. This is Julian recording us, recording him. Recording us, recording him. It's not about the size, all right? Made in China. There's Porsche on it. Had the full wall? Yeah, sure. That's, is that Sport Classic? All the finishers. Oh, wow, that is way more. Oh, that is yeah, the entire This is nothing. Fastest lap, 232, 155, 158. I was really slow. <laughs> so right here to start it off, we have a 1974 Carrera SC. Oh, so there's no passenger? Yeah, so it does 
have room for a passenger, but they didn't really use it. Um, these are more uh, one-person vehicles used for racing, believe it or not. Um, yeah. Could you imagine being able to loan out a car? Like, Dude. You could have it for a few months. I don't need it. I would, I would be his best friend. <laughs> <laughs> Different silhouette from what Porsche normally does. 968. All right, so we just did the driving simulator with my group. There's five of us. Now we're going to do the next thing. So they're doing everything put into a short two hours here in Atlanta. But, you know, you get a little bit of everything. You got the off-road. You got the drifting. You see them with the kick plate, they called it, and getting control of the car. So it seems like a good learning material. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gentlemen, here we go. We're going to take you over here to the kick plate. <laughs> Wow. All right. So the kick plate is the device buried in the asphalt that kicks the rear out. So you'll have some fun. The car will slip and slide a bit. All right. So I have literally drifting experience is wild. Like literally we have, we have done it all. There is no joke. The red one is the hardest one to control. Your boy controlled it within a second. The Taycan was hard to control. Your boy controlled it very well. And was hard to control and your boy controlled it amazingly. All right, so these guys are gonna do the kick plate. They got the 911 Carrera S. What is this, the Cayenne? Another Carrera, all wheel drive, I think. Here we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right, guys, you ready? Everybody holding on? Yep. <laughs> Don't trust this guy, man. <laughs> <laughs> what happened here? Oh, this is the off-road. This okay. is the off-road. Yeah. Oh, wow. They're like, why are those people saying <laughs> What happened? Been, it must have been a wreck. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> and then rock mode, full relax, both differentials. So then you're getting the even power all the way right at it. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Dude. Two miles an hour. This is wild. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow. Back down the steep hill we just oh wow. Oh wow. Yeah, you're really not on the brake or anything. Wow. Oh my god. I feel so, like I'm gonna. Is this button stuff? Yeah. Yeah, he turned on this yeah, thing. Yeah, so uh, the cruise control stock, you got a little option here. So you can switch it between cruise control and Porsche Hill control. That's what that means. PHC, Porsche Hill control. Oh yeah. I am literally it's looking at the ground, the and this guy, <laughs> dude, dude, this is wild. Oh my god. These are way down here. There's so much control. Alright, so we're going to climb all the way to the top of the wall. On the right. Whoa. <laughs> dude, you, 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 you okay back there? <laughs> this is insane. This is literally wild. He's gonna go from there to the other side. Oh. Oh yeah. That is wild. <laughs> it does not feel like that when you're in there. Yeah. Dude, this is literally. You gonna get a little break tab? Yep, there's oh, the two. All right, so we finished our experience. We're now at the restaurant 356, and we got a nice menu for the pioneers. This is it. This is how we're ending the day. Uh, open bar, you know how it is. It's the Porsche experience. Thank you for being part of the pioneers of the part of chapter eight, and I don't have a class, but it was super fun. Thank you for being all right, so these guys are gonna go off to the Ferris wheel. It is departing day. I am going to the airport. They will go have fun on the Ferris wheel. Nice to see everybody. All together in a circle. Keeping the pioneer way. <laughs>